Now we have clear evidence that both Mexico and the Soviets are expressing a little bit of interest in going to war with allied nations. Because they just began the path down anti-capitalist diplomacy. So the Soviets now have, uh, you know, a, a, a route, I guess, to possibly declare war in the UK. Um, we'll see if that ends up happening. I, I feel like they have to peace out first. And there needs to be a peace conference before that were to happen, though. So, well, we don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. They're going on claims for... Uh, I don't know who that is. Beserbia? I don't know. Harambe. Let's just say Harambe, because we need to throw that in whenever I can. Um, claims for... Okay, so they want legionary, legion, legionary Romania. And uh, that was such a terrible joke. I don't know. I should probably, I should probably just end this video right now, because that was not funny at all. My Harambe joke is not good. My premier Harambe joke in this series was so bad that I should probably just quit right now. Um, anyways, hey, Missouri's doing okay. They're still holding back. They're still holding back. Uh, this was the other thing that I was talking about during the intro, is uh, Mexico has a front, special forces, uh, has a front along California. They actually had another front, but uh, it's not that way anymore. So, yeah, Mexico has a plan, at the very least, to go after California. California, the same thing. California has something happening here, too. So there's there's definitely some tension. Also, when when these things start to peace out, there are still several other common turn... Because that's the thing. So, so the faction part, the faction portion of the U.S. should fall. But what about the rest of... The communist states, because there's still several forms of communism, uh, especially in the East, too. But obviously, if the syndicate win here, how much land did they take away? See, that's how we could come up with this whole winter thing, because we are kind of in a, in a little bit of a pickle, I guess you could say. A little bit of a pickle, since if we don't see a peace deal, we don't know who technically won. And I don't know how we could define those terms of who has won and who has not. Uh, I did push the campaign by about like six months. So, uh, if we were to look at, geez, 40% by the German Reich, 40.6% generated. Wait, what was that by? Oh, I don't know. It, does, it doesn't matter. Okay, so current wars, uh, we might see a peace deal maybe by the end of this between New York and Connecticut. That has been such an irrelevant war. What? How is this still going on? That's what I want to know. Uh... Yeah, so wait a second, you're... That's Massachusetts. Oh, because of that. New... Is that is that why? Yeah, because you can't get there. I don't even know if there's if it's possible for you to peace out then. Because how are you going to get to that location? Socialist Republic North Dakota. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, let's check on South America. Venezuela still exists. My boy... My boy Blue, you got it. Yeah, California, look at this. Okay, there's more divisions now than ever before. Actually, there might have been these divisions here before, but I just wasn't paying attention to it as much. Probably that. Let's check on the Japanese mainland because uh, they are being invaded by the British, and I'm pretty sure that if Tokyo falls, then yeah, you're you're done. Also, does it has anyone made a comment? I'm sure this has been a comment on one of the one of the forums. How is oh never mind. I was gonna say, how is Hiroshima and Nagasaki not VPs? I was about to lose my mess right now. I was gonna say, like, that that, that would have caused a lot of people to flip out, actually. Cause that obviously pretty big important cities. Uh yeah, for Japan. I actually had no idea their geography. So there you go, you learn something new every day. I didn't know that Nagasaki was there. I didn't know Hiroshima was there. I figured that it would be more spread out through the island. I I don't know. I I, I mean, I don't... I, well, it doesn't matter. It's completely irrelevant what, what, what's happening. So, Turkey and... Uh, oh, wow. Legionary Romania have pretty much just fallen. What is... Yugoslavia tends to lean fascist. They definitely did not in this campaign. They like Poland. They like Turkey. They like Portugal. Huh, that would have been an interesting faction that could have formed. I also want to know, so a lot, a, a, an earlier, uh, an earlier, earlier ago, Ireland was a part of the Allies. Well, they are a part of the Allies right now. How, how? Usually Ireland stays pretty, like, not about that. They're usually not about that life. But uh, they clearly were this time around. 
So that was kind of odd. I don't know. Oh, yeah. See, this is where you're screwed because you've got the Allies coming up from Syria. And there was just a naval invasion. Belgium made a naval invasion. Turkey is not ready. Well, they've got three divisions. It could be... Jeez. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you've got plans for more naval invasions. We'll see if that's successful. But it seems like... And that is my doge. Uh, but it seems like most of the... Most of the things happening in the south that by the Allies are actually more successful. The Soviets are probably doing what the Soviets do best and just throwing men as fast and as hard as they can at uh, at the front. And that's just what happens. Greece never... Whoa, Greece was very fascist at a point. See, that is the thing. Uh, at the end of the day, this is Japan's fault. If Japan never declared war on the Dutch, if they would have just waited like a year or two then more than likely we would have seen the Soviets were going to fall. Probably because, especially because they were going to get Turkey and Romania involved no matter what. Those two were going to have, because that's a part of their focus tree, right? Turkey definitely is. Not sure about Romania. Probably. So, Soviets would have fell. Then you declare war on the Dutch. If you have all of this territory and no common turn to worry about, well, then the Japanese wouldn't have to worry about this front. They could focus on the Chinese. Uh, that was another thing, though. They sh they had to have eliminated the Chinese while fighting the Allies because, yeah. But the Allies didn't have didn't have California. Or I'm sorry, didn't have the U.S. this time around. So that was kind of odd. Yeah, this is just a stalemate. Like the AI is not even trying at this point. I mean, if we look at the the fronts, there's no battles at all. They must be at a stand. Yeah, there's nothing happening here either. What is going on here? No battles have engaged at all. Well, that's weird. It's 1943. So you don't really have that much time. I mean, about four or five years. Look at all this German territory. Why did this get up, give up? Why did they give this all to Germany? Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't even have an explanation for that. I'm not going to try to explain that. Netherlands are pushing in on Turkey. This is the war that's the problem for Japan. Japan still has several... They're still pretty strong. Now, not all of these guys have to be eliminated. I've been able to peace out without having everybody eliminated. It will help. Turkey's already lost almost 100... Or above 150,000 men. I mean, when the war lead, I don't think they have to take over actual Oklahoma, Missouri, Venezuela, Wisconsin, Colorado, and Empire. Colorado. So Turkey falls, but Japan for sure has to, since they, like I said, are the war leader, and boom. So they're already going to get kicked out of Indochina. Let's see if they actually get the encirclement, though. They doesn't look like they will, because they need they need this. Yeah, they're going to need a little bit more than that. That's not going to be enough. I mean, they might push them back. The problem is Japan still can run away. Um, who's winning the uh, the war game? Or, I'm sorry, the, the naval game, I guess. So Japan still, still clearly has a strong hold on this region here, obviously. A super strong hold. So this isn't going to go anywhere. Oh, well. France is getting better. It, it's going back and forth. Let's check on British Raj. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, once the... Once you lose naval dominance, the Japanese are done. How much is Tokyo? Tokyo is 50 VPs, so... Yeah, that would be the end of it. I mean, this is like 20 or something? 25. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that would be pretty much it. Uh, but what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to end this episode a little bit early, fast forward a little bit, see if we can't come to uh, a peace deal, and uh, and see if there is a war between the common turn and the allies. Actually, you know, let's go ahead and check on that real quick. The common turn. So, they, oh my gosh, France and the UK are going to start to... To seek some communist uh, influence for a thousand days. So, multiple years here. 
And then, and then they only need a few more until they can go to war. Southern Thrust. So they're going... So this is not mutually exclusive. They can go down either one. So... Southern Thrust... Ooh, they might be thinking about a war with Iran and Iraq. In the Middle East as a whole. Gain Middle Eastern expansion. Ooh. So I guess the Allies could declare war. It's just, it just right after this, though. Okay, yeah, so things are heating up. We'll see. I have no idea. I don't know what's going to happen, but rather than having you guys wait, we'll just put a cut here. And, uh, and I'll fast forward, and we'll see how fast we can get there. Look, ooh. All right, so the Soviets are uh, kind of getting ready something, getting some ready for China. There's definitely a little bit of something something, but, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, like I said, we will for sure do this scenario again, uh, probably with historical focus off. Uh, even if that isn't off, even if that doesn't change, it's still going to be drastically different because, like I said, it's a 33% chance that any state could go to any ideology. So um, another campaign would be different. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know if we're going to do a whole other series where I start off on episode one or if we just continue uh, in this series and, uh, and I maybe I make some sort of clear thumbnail that this is the start of a new one, but it's still in the same series. So it would be like a part... 11 or something like that. Maybe we'll do something like that. I, I don't know. We'll see. It all depends on a few factors. But uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.